Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick first impression on the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation. Um, this is in the color medium, 819 medium. Um, I wanted to do a quick first impression, so I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, I'm going to start by using the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Primer. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger. I've been really, really into primers lately. And please just completely ignore my appearance. I look crazy. I really do. Just ignore it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this on my. Awesome. I'm just gonna put this right on my hand like this. Oh, I put way too much. That's okay. And then I'm gonna go in with a damp um, Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I don't think it's called that. Beauty sponge, whatever. I'm just gonna pat that in. So I actually really like the look of this. Um, this is actually a little bit too dark for me, but they only had three colors at my, um, where I got it. I got, I just got it at Dollar General and it was like $2. So I was like, mm, I'm definitely gonna get that. And I had a coupon, so I got it. Um, so it is a little bit too dark for me. So the next time I use it, I'm probably going to have to um, mix it with a lot, like a little bit lighter. Um, I mean, it's fine for today, but honestly though, whenever I get a little bit more of a tan, I know my tan has faded so, so much in the last couple of days because I haven't been outside, um, it'll actually be perfect. So, I'm just going to put um, concealer and I'm going to put just a translucent powder on and then um, I'm going to be back in a couple of hours to let you guys know how it held up and kind of what I thought about it so I will see you guys in a couple okay so I'm back it is 5 32 I put this foundation on at like 1 30 uh, 2 o'clock I think and I don't know it's okay it's definitely not uh, like a full coverage foundation it's I don't even know if it's medium I don't know it kind of feels more like a BB cream to me a little bit a little bit um, I don't think it's my right color but I don't know. But it's okay, especially for two dollars. So yeah, I will check in in a couple more hours. So I'll talk to you then. Hey guys, so I am back. It is almost 8:30, so I've been wearing it for about seven and a half hours. Seven hours? Seven, seven and a half, somewhere around there. Uh, but I'm actually super impressed with this foundation. I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, not so much like, it's really good quality for only being $2. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it makes your face look pretty, like, smooth. And, like, kind of looks like porcelain if you like that look. The couple spots, like, right here, it kind of didn't want to stay right by my nose. But I did have concealer on that, on top of it, right there. So that could be why, um, honestly, it feels like I'm not wearing anything and, um, that makes me pretty happy because <laughs> I don't really like the feel of heavy foundation, who does? So, um, I definitely recommend this and I'm definitely going to continue using it and if you guys have used this foundation, um, let me know down in the comments down below um and tell me what you thought about it um wow i don't think i could say um anymore uh i hope you guys liked this video and please subscribe thank you so much for watching